draft proposal from the Finance Personnel Board. Um, there are two proposals here. The first draft uh, I made where I just pretty much kept everything the same, adjusted uh, for some things that we knew would be less, some things we knew would be more, uh, and that didn't leave a very pretty bottom line. The, uh, the Beverly and I worked on and Finance Personnel finally uh, worked on, approved this draft number two, which has a deficit of $6,400. Uh, we had a budget deficit of uh, over 7,000 last year, so that's a little bit bad, better, and uh, that's what this proposal is at this point. Um, this amount is certainly helped by a number of uh, income issues, which I'll walk through. Uh, we're setting a, a budget goal for worship arts advertising at uh, 19,000. Uh, we brought a little over that in this year, so we're hopeful that we can meet that mark again. Um, we are taking a real budgetary hit from the Music and Worship Arts Week budget. Uh, as you remember, we budgeted that very conservatively uh, because of being both a convocation year and because of the youth event in Orlando, Florida. So that's where this year we pulled in $17,000 uh, from Music and Worship Arts Week. We only have that budgeted, and so that's all we can put into this budget. Uh, the convocation uh, budget did not include anything to come over. Uh, so that's a you know, pretty big budgetary hit that we're having to deal with in this budget. Uh, however, if both of those do make funds, uh, we would you know, be able to pull that money in here. We're also hopeful that we'll have $2,400 in uh, webinar income, or actually profit, uh, to, to push us to get, get that started. We're proposing that we budget uh, $5,000 more in membership payments. Uh, for the first time in a long time, we've pretty much met our uh, membership projection. Um, most of that's because we just significantly lowered our expectation, but uh, we think we can raise that next year. We have 260 uh, members in Michigan who will be up for renewal next year, and if we can get them in at about 40% uh, retention rate, we would easily uh, get that $5,000. Uh, and uh, our retention rate is usually around 80 to 85 percent, so that would be even greater. So uh, we think we're pretty safe in, in moving that up $5,000. Raising the annual fund contributions by $2,000, this uh, is primarily related to an effort to work on our debt retirement, so we're proposing an increase there. I'll talk about that debt retirement in a moment. Uh, you'll remember this year we had uh, two annual conference memberships uh, that Dave uh, dreamed up and got going in West Michigan and Detroit annual conferences. Those were really helpful uh, to our budget this year, and so we want to plan on doing that again. Jay is already working on one of those for Illinois Great Rivers, and we think we should be able to get at least one more of those. So we're hoping to pull in, in $10,000 again next year. So that gives us um, some uh, is an income that is uh, greater than our budgeted income last year, uh, but it is uh, less than our actual income in uh, 2014. Uh, under the expense part, uh, one uh, item to note, uh, Finance Personnel Board has approved a new medical insurance policy for me uh, in order to keep the premiums lower. Uh, we're raising the deductible on the policy to 3500 Fellowship pays 1000 of that, and then the remainder of that comes out of my salary so that I do receive that uh, tax-free uh, if that's used for medical uh, benefits. The uh, good thing about this new newer policy is that the out-of-pocket max is also $3,500, so once I pay that $2,500 and you pay the $1,000, uh, then they're it covers 100% after that. Hopefully I won't have the medical expenses in 2015 that I had in 2014, uh, but I think it's a better policy option, and it does save some on the uh, medical insurance premiums. They would have gone up by about $1,000, so we're only seeing about a $500 increase on the premiums. 
with this new policy. Under council expenses, uh, some minor changes here and there uh, and adjustments. We did uh, budget for the first time $6,000 for uh, Carla. We've paid her, uh, we'll pay her close to 6000 this year. I think we all agree that's uh, money well spent um, and we just really don't have much you know, that we can do um, without her and to keep the, the presence, the web presence and the emails looking like they are. Here's the uh, loan repayment that I spoke about earlier. There had been talk earlier about trying to deal with that on a 10% uh, basis for 10 years. So our debt is about 48000 so 4800 this year. The first, first uh, 200, uh, or 2400 to come from the operating budget, just $200 a month going over toward that debt retirement each month. And then the first 2400 from annual fund receipts would go toward that. So that balances out a bit with the extra income we're pushing to get from the annual fund for next year. Under the editorial board, uh, I need to look at some uh, printing figures before next week uh, to be sure that this uh, same amount is uh, looks good for us. I did reduce the editorial board expenses as they've been uh, not reaching uh, 2000 over the past several years. So that gives us this $6,400 uh, budget deficit. Again, last year it was uh, 7000 and uh, we hope that uh, we can uh, work and, and try to erase that as we probably are going to do right now. Um, this $700, I think, by the end of the year will we'll end 2014. If not totally in the black, certainly not in the red very much. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to give me a call or email me, or we can discuss it on the call, on the full council call on Monday.